The Mary Hatwood Futrell Award is presented to a nominee whose activities in women's rights significantly impact education and the achievement of equal opportunity for women and girls. Our winner this year is from the state of Maryland. Hi, I'm Betty Weller, president of the Maryland State Education Association. She's seen the worst of humanity, prosecuting or trying horrific cases of child abuse and domestic violence. But beyond the sorrow, there is hope and support for victims, thanks to a caring, tenacious advocate, the Honorable Carla Smith. Seconds don't simply tell time. They mark unconscionable acts no one should ever experience. Every nine seconds, a woman is assaulted or beaten in the United States. And each day, more than four children die from abuse and neglect. Seconds can mean the difference between life and death, and so can an advocate. All rise. Circuit Court from Montgomery County is now in session. The Honorable Carter Smith presiding. Judge Carla Smith is an unflinching advocate who uses a holistic approach to violence prevention in the courts, in the classroom, and through the creation of laws and safe spaces for families. To understand what drives her compassion, you must first understand her past. Her mother was a teacher, her father a former foster child who grew up to help run Howard University's School of Social Work. At an early age, they introduced Judge Smith to civil rights pioneers like Rosa Parks and Shirley Chisholm, the first black congresswoman. Judge Smith learned that one person can overcome obstacles and make a difference. She made history herself as the first African-American female judge in Montgomery County's district court. Judge Smith spent 15 years on the other side of the bench as a prosecutor making sure abusers went to prison. She was named chief of the Family Violence Division for the state's attorney's office and led a team that prosecuted all cases of abuse. Family Justice Center, this is Bethany. To help families heal after violence, Judge Smith helped create the Montgomery County Family Justice Center. Here, families find a safe place and dozens of free services food, counseling, legal advice, and housing assistance. And they can use special cameras to speak to judges to get protective orders. Judge Smith turned her attention to the State House when she learned that Maryland was the only state in the country where child neglect was not illegal. She spent years working with lawmakers. And now, the crime is punishable by up to five years in prison. Judge Smith reaches out to teens, educating them in hopes of stopping abuse before it even starts. As part of the Preparing for Success conference, each year Judge Smith helps teen girls boost their self-esteem and set goals after graduation. From prosecutor to judge, her journey is truly an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank nice you. to meet you. Nice Take care. You. For girls today, Meeting Judge Carla Smith is surely as empowering to them as meeting Rosa Parks and Shirley Chisholm was to her, continuing a legacy of strength, courage, and commitment. Exactly. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Carla N. Smith. Thank you. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. I cannot overstate my gratitude and appreciation for the opportunity to be on this stage this evening receiving this important award. I am not a professional educator, although as the mother of three boys and as a judge, I certainly do my fair share of teaching.
That said, my relationship with the NEA quite literally goes back as far as I can remember. I am the child of two professional educators. Both my mother and my father spent their entire careers teaching in public schools, mentoring, promoting education policy, and working as community activists. And in particular, my mother has been a delegate from our home state of Maryland. <laughs> to this very conference, the NEA Representative Assembly for the last two decades. In fact, this is the first time in 21 years that she's not here as an RA delegate. Instead, she and my father are here to see me receive this honor. Over there. Table 54. <laughs> in receiving this award, I recognize I am truly walking in the shadows of giants. Simply put, Mary Hatwood Futrell was a legend in my house. Every year when my mom would return from the RA, she would extol the virtues of Miss Hatwood Futrell about her leadership, her thoughtfulness, her unique attention to the needs of minorities and women, and in particular, her appreciation for the concerns related to young women. Before I ever understood exactly where mom went every year about this time and what the NEA actually did, I knew of the important work underway by Mary Hatwood Futrell. So to be here tonight with all of you and to receive the award bearing her name has a deep and personal meaning for me. It's a bit overwhelming. Again, thank you again for this important honor, for the opportunity to be a part of the NAA community, an organization, and a community that has always been part of my life. Thank you.